Hi, friends. I'm so glad you're here. We are almost ready to begin. Before we do, I want to invite you to participate. Share your ideas with me in real time during the show. We'd also love for you to be part of the kid team. You can record videos, snap photos, and more to be part of future episodes. After the show, head over to wimmy.tv slash you to learn more about this and more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Let's get rolling! Okay, a compound word is two words when put together make a new word. I would love you to please share with me a compound word, such as woodchuck. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? As much wood as a woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> woodchuck. Woodchuck. How about hedgehog? How much hedge could a hedgehog hog if a hedgehog could hog hedge? As much hedge as a hedgehog could if a hedgehog could hog hedge. <laughs> hedgehog hog in the hedges mailbox. How much mail could a mailbox box if a mailbox could box mail? As much mail as a mailbox could if a mailbox could box mail. Oh, campground. How much camp could a campground ground if a campground could ground camp? As much camp as a campground could if a campground could ground camp. Camp, you're grounded. If I've said it once, I've said it a million times. <laughs> don't put your finger in the butter. You're grounded. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, that was just kind of weird. I was trying to think of something to be grounded for. I don't know if um you'd be grounded for. Maybe it'd be something more campfire related. I don't know. Hey, good morning, Joe! <laughs> we need some more compound word. What about firefly? How much fire could a firefly fly if a firefly could fly fire? <laughs> that is kind of what the fireflies do. They're like flying around. It's like, what? How are these little sparks flying? Oh, that comes from the campground. <laughs> That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. Okay, friends, uh, Phyllis is backstage. I'm going to ask her after playground to share the next compound word. Get ready, Phyllis, for a compound word. How much play could a playground ground if a playground could ground play? As much play as a playground could if a playground could ground play. Phyllis, you'll be on the show in a little bit, but first, got a compound word for me? <laughs> compound word. How about um, seesaw? Seesaw! Oh, I love it. This is going to be a tongue twister, too. How much sea could a seesaw saw if a seesaw could saw sea? I see it. It's right over there. <laughs> as much sea as a seesaw could if a seesaw could saw sea. It's on the seesaw. Wait, oh, no. If There should be a seesaw on the campground where there's a... No, the seesaw is on the playground at the campground where the fireflies and the hedgehogs and the woodchucks... Did we get them all? I think I missed one. Mailbox. And there's a mailbox to get mail. Was that all? I think so. I think so. Well, friends! Ha <laughs> ha! Guess what? It is time for Exploring Art! Oh, Phyllis! Ah, that was really fun. Seesaw, saw, seesaw. <laughs> okay, so Phyllis, you and I are about to explore a piece of art together. Oh, yes. Let's start looking at the image. So excited, Wimmy. <laughs> oh, oh. <gasps> yes. You see that, Wimmy? Yeah. Wait, is that what I think it is? What do it, you think that is, Wimmy? Tell me. It, what what I, is it? it? It It's a hedgehog. <gasps> Great observation. What makes you say that, though, Wimmy? What makes you think it's oh. a hedgehog? 
Well, because I've seen, I've never seen one in real life, but I've seen pitchers in that, in that, that um, they, they can roll up into a ball and, and become like, it, it's, it's a, I've seen them before. That's how I know. But then the little claws. <laughs> Very good. Now, does Mr. Hedgehog here, do you see mm. any other friends around Mr. Hedgehog at all? Oh. And of There's friends a... at home, let us know what you can see. Let's explore art together. Art is yeah. beautiful. Art is life, is what I said. Oh, this, I love that. Art is life. Well, I see the eyeball of the hedgehog. Oh, interesting. What color is that eyeball, Wimmy? It's 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 black. Oh. Is eyeball a compound word too, Wimmy? Would you say oh, that? It is. It is eyeball <laughs> as much I as. Well, we're going right into the soul of this hedgehog. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Uh, oh, friends at you. home, let's do this together. Let's explore this art piece together. What do you nose. guys see? What do you notice about that hedgehog? <clears throat> oh, it's got a long pointy nose. Okay. Great observation. Nice observation there. And um, anything on the feet too, Wimmy? <gasps> Whoa, sharp claws. Those are sharp. Awesome noticing. What is do you see to the left of that eyeball? What else do you the, notice? Oh, it's a tree branch with acorns. <gasps> what makes you think they're acorns, though? Oh, um, like the hedgehog, I've seen acorns. They got those little hats. <laughs> and they, they in the tree, I see the oak tree leaf. <laughs> Great observation there, Wimmy. What about our friends at home? What do you see? What do you notice about this hedgehog? Let us explore art together. Do we have any our friends? What do you notice in this art, friends? Art is like coffee. You don't drink coffee by yourself. It's better when shared, coffee or tea. Nice. Are those, okay. are, are those what, rocks? Nice noticing, Wimmy. What color are they? Oh, they're earthy, like brownish, beige. They're they're grays. Hmm. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Those colors of those rocks. I've seen dark rocks, but usually those earthy rocks. Sometimes you don't. Yeah, but you don't. You know, come across that. And what else to you? Ah, uh, look, Cindy says looks pointy sharp far. Great observation, Cindy. Pointy sharp far. They're like they're like little needles. I wouldn't want to touch one. Or maybe I would just to feel it. <laughs> I notice it's so detailed. Yes. This artist is, oh my gosh, very detailed. Feels real. And friends at home, what is do you notice about this hedgehog? The colors, what is what is do you notice? What is do you see in this picture? We did you see anything else? Is it a snail? I think there's a snail. Oh, now the snail's going away. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a snail. I but think. it's nice ob observation too, because I, I I saw that, and he's over there keeping his friend company. I what wonder if we could count all these these needles. What what um, what are those called on a hedgehog? Do they have names? I don't know. How long would it even take to count them? Oh my gosh! Let's look try. how one, two, beautiful. three. Four. Oh no! I I no no! I lost count. Whoa! Oh, it's like we're in a forest now. <laughs> Great observation there, Wimmy. It feels those far needles, as Cindy said, feel feel yeah. real and like pine trees needles. Oh, oh! They're all little triangles, I think. Right? I noticed the shapes are like little triangles. That's, that's good noticing. Good noticing that, Wimmy. And our friends at home. What else do you see in this picture? Chestnuts and a snail, Rita. Incredible observation. Chestnuts. Now I want chestnut. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of snow now. Chestnuts and snow. Great observation, <laughs> Rita. Oh, I wonder where this this hedgehog is. Is it on? It's like a beach, maybe. I, I think it's sand. Great question. Sand. Nice observation. The beauty of art is very, art is very subjective. What you see, I might not see, but it's all beautiful. Art is just, I just love art. And anything else? 
we notice in this on this hedgehog mm, a hedgehog in a landscape Ooh. oh yeah oh i see the title a hedgehog in, yeah leaves Le stephanie oh, the, great observation leaves, leaves. I noticed yeah. the background is very plain. There's there is there sky or no sky? It's a very nice observation, Wimmy. Is that sky? Great observation. And what else do we notice or see in this picture? Giovanni Garzani. What is on the on the bottom? Is, there, is I, hmm? I start. I'm wondering if this is like on a cliff or is it a small? Because uh, uh, small is darker on the bottom right, and it looks maybe there's an edge to something. That's interesting. <clears throat> Hedgehog on the edge. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> maybe mud. Yeah. said maybe mud. I. Great observation. Amazing observation. Maybe mm. mud. Mm. Now I want a hedgehog as a pet. <laughs> I wonder when this. I, I think it did say when it was painted. It was, or drawn. Was it was it painted or was it pencil or was it? Hmm. Ah, oh, great question. Hmm. Was it painted or was it penciled? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Well, Phyllis, this is so cool. Um, in in Morgan from the DIA is here. She she knows about this piece. Should we bring her in and and find out more? Was it penciled or painted? <laughs> Hi, Hello, everyone. Hi, Wimmy. Hi, Phyllis. It's so great Hi. to be here today. We've been exploring this art, and uh, you know more. I had a question. Uh, Phyllis and I were just talking. Wait, wait, was was it painted or drawn? And how long ago? I, I, I yeah, I that yeah, point. that is a great question and a great place to start. I loved hearing all of your observations. You guys pointed out some really great things in this, in this piece of artwork. Um, well, to start, this artwork was painted between 1643 and 1651. So that's almost 400 years ago, if you can imagine wow. that. I know it's, wow. it's so many years that I have trouble picturing just how long ago that was. Um, but this was painted a very long time ago. And what this is made out of is it's made using tempera and graphite on parchment, which is a fancy way of saying it was made using paint and pencils on paper. Oh. So you guys were both on the right track. We, yeah, it was made using both it, paint Phyllis. and pencils. Oh, yeah, wow. awesome. Wow. Yeah. 400 years. Yeah. They, I yeah. didn't know they had hedgehogs that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's crazy. So this, like you guys mentioned earlier, it says to the side here um, that this was created by an artist named Giovanna Garzoni. And Giovanna lived and worked in Italy for most of her life. Um, but also traveled to other places like London and Paris and all around Europe, really working as an artist. Um, so one thing that we can see in this piece here and that we see in a lot of her other artwork as well is that Giovanna Garzoni uses a lot of detail in her artwork. So as we're zooming in really closely here, it almost looks like we're looking at a real hedgehog. Right, we can see yes. all of these tiny little pieces of fur, the eyeball that we pointed out earlier, the nose, and maybe even some whiskers as well. So there's a lot of detail in this piece of artwork. Um, one other thing about Giovanna Garzoni's work is that she painted things that were really scientifically accurate. And so what that means is that these things looked almost exactly like they did in real life. Uh, Miss Garzoni worked alongside a lot of other scientists and similar people working around that time period. Um, and so she was able to, to learn from them as well about how these things should look um, and how they were supposed to look in real life. And so that's why what we see here all looks so realistic, right? This hedgehog, these leaves, even the snail, they all look like real life things because Miss Garzoni was able to talk to scientists about what they should look like. Are those oh, chestnuts? Oh. Yeah, we were. They so are. Yes, I friends. believe they're chestnuts. Pretty My sure. Goodness. But yeah, so detailed. My good, four hundred years. I'm still in shock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Looks like we have a question. Are there any other pieces by her? So this piece of artwork is actually part of an exhibition that we have, um, or like an art show at the Detroit Institute of Arts, um, and it's called "By Her Hand." Artemisia Genileschi and Women Artists in Italy, 1500 to 1800. 
So I know that's kind of a lot to take in, but this exhibition um, or this show, it takes a lot of different artists, specifically women artists who are working in Italy at this time, and it puts them all together in one show. Um, so as part of this show, we do have a couple of other pieces by Giovanna Garzoni as well. Um, but we also have pieces by other women who were working around the same time as Miss Garzoni. So maybe people who knew each other. That's so cool. Hmm. Yeah. Do you, this... What do you think? Or do you, is it documented? Is it is it is the hedgehog on sand or dirt or mud? One of our friends Ooh. wondered. You know, yeah, that was a very interesting question that you guys brought up. And that's not something that I'm entirely sure about. Um, one thing that Miss Garzoni is very well known for is for creating still lives. So I want to ask you, Emmy, what comes to mind when you hear the phrase still life? Um, not very, not much movement. It, things sit very still, and it, but it's yeah. alive. Yeah, exactly. And so that's a common practice um, in art even today is painting or drawing still lives. And so what a still life is, is it's taking objects. So sometimes living things like hedgehogs, um, but sometimes things that aren't alive. So maybe plants, chestnuts, like we saw here, things like that, um, and painting them in, in a moment in time. So it's almost like you take a snapshot with your phone or with a camera of this one moment. Um, it was like so a selfie, something... but 400 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> And that's something that a lot of people still do today, too, is they'll arrange objects or different things in order to create a still life or like a snapshot of this one moment. But yeah, kind of like an old fashioned selfie. <laughs> I wonder if this hedgehog had a name. I know. I was kind of curious about that, too. Maybe this was a pet hedgehog or maybe it was a hedgehog who lived in nature. I'm not sure. I wonder if the hedgehog and the snail are friends. <laughs> oh, they could be. It almost looks like the snail is moving toward the hedgehog, right? Maybe they're going oh, to yeah. talk to one another. They maybe might be having lunch. Oh, <laughs> maybe, chestnuts. maybe they're Very having close. lunch, enjoying these chestnuts here. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Gosh, so, so Wimmy, is there anything else you're wondering about this painting or about Giovanna Garzoni? Ooh, um, well, I was I, I was talking with Phyllis about the background. There, there's no sky or background. I wonder if the artist didn't paint what was behind the hedgehog or. Yeah, or yeah, that's something that's really more. interesting to wonder about. Right. A lot of the time when people were creating these still lives, they would set them up indoors. So someplace where they wouldn't be moved. Um, so it's it's possible that this was created inside. Um, but it also could be outside. Maybe the sky was really gray that day, or maybe the artist chose not to paint the sky. But those are all those are all great questions. That's something that I'm not entirely sure um, what that situation would have looked like. But I think it's really interesting to think about all of the different possibilities that might be behind this painting. I love it. Brody's got a stuffed hedgehog named Hedgy. Hi, Brody. That is awesome. I wish I had a stuffed hedgehog. I think hedgehogs are so cool. Yeah, don't they, they kind of roll up into a ball, right? Am I thinking of that correctly? They do, yeah. Yeah, their belly, you can't really see it here, but it's a lot softer than these quills or these sharp pokies that we see on the outside, right? So sometimes they'll roll up into a little ball to protect that belly. You know, I was wondering too, with the, all those little, or do, do you, is there a name for the little pointy things on a hedgehog? I don't know if they have a name. Ooh. That's a good question. I know with porcupines, they're called quills, but I'm not sure if it's the same for a hedgehog because they're a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Phyllis Morgan, this was great checking out that piece. Morgan, will you tell us more about the exhibit overall at the DIA right now? Of course, yeah, yeah. So this exhibition, um, like I mentioned, it has a lot of women artists who were living and working in Italy during this time period. Um, but the main artist that we're featuring in this exhibition is a woman named Artemisia Genileschi. And so she is a very famous artist from this time period. Um, but like I mentioned, we have works from a lot of different women artists who were all working at the same time. Um, this exhibition, it actually goes until May 29. So you have two more months to come see it here at the DIA. Um, there is a small fee, but if you are a member of the DIA, I believe you can get into the exhibition for free. Uh, but it's definitely something that's worth checking out. It's one of my favorite spaces at the DIA right now. Oh, so cool. And maybe some, is there a little bit more to learn at the DIA website? 
Definitely. Yeah. If you go to DIA.org, you can get a little bit more information on this exhibition and then some of the other artists that are part of this exhibition as well. So it'll tell you where to go to see these artists, when it's open, all of that good information. I love it. I love it. Well, Phyllis, Morgan, can we play a game? Yes, sure. Should we do it? <laughs> all right. Let's play the alphabet game. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z <laughs> Let's throw up today's letter <laughs> Okay, so since a uh, hedgehog is a type of animal, let's, and, and friends at home, play along with us. Let's look at these letters and think of other animals. Hmm, let's all just pick any letter and call it out. Raise your hand if we think of an animal with a letter. Oh, D for dog. M for monkey. Monkey. Ooh. P for panda. Oh, panda. Uh, uh, G for goat. <laughs> I love goats. <laughs> um, <clears throat> T for thinoceros. <laughs> oh, say that again. T for thinoceros. I'm thinking of. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, uh, like a T Rex or a. Th um... Yes, T Rex. <laughs> oh, I, I like your I, I like what you said, though. I want to draw that. Uh, <laughs> a turtle. Turtle. T for turtle. That's a great one. Ooh, I like yeah. that. I wonder if turtle's got a name like Pudgy. Um, right, we need R. All right. How about S for snake? <gasps> Ooh. Do you think hedgehogs like snakes and turtles and and goats? They probably wouldn't be friends with snakes. Hedgy wouldn't be. P for porcupine. Ooh. A porcupine Ooh. like the hedgehog. Yeah, they're friends. Um, did anybody R say panda? Ooh, oh, I, I think panda. we did. How about Two K for kangaroo? Kangaroo! Kangaroo. Oh, oh, yeah, that was oh, kangaroo. Kangaroo. <laughs> oh, man. We did it, friends. Great job. Thanks for playing today's alphabet game. Whew. We should get right to find it fast. You guys ready for find it fast? We got all kinds of games. We got artwork. We got games. Let's go play find it fast. <laughs> Okay, friends at home, can you find something that starts with H? Like hedgehog. Find something green. And find something round. Friends right now, see what you can find. Look around, find something. What else starts with H? Um, a hat. Um, find something green. Hmm, like a green tomato? A frog? Something round? Hmm. Let us know if you find anything. Phyllis, have you found any of those things? Round! <gasps> nice! <laughs> A round ball! My ball is round! <laughs> I like it, I like it. Morgan, did you find anything? I did. I found something green. I've got a little oh. plant here. Oh, that's beautiful. That would make a nice still life, too. Maybe you could put the, oh, oh, we should all get together with Phyllis's bowl and Morgan's plant, and maybe we'll find some animals. <laughs> That's so fun. Let's see, what else starts with H? Um, a hippopotamus? <laughs> we could put a hippopotamus in our still life. <laughs> uh, green. Money! <laughs> uh, not all money. Coins aren't green. Um, round. A ball? Hmm. Let us know, friends, if you find something. I'm thinking maybe um, a plate. Plate's round. Ooh, and all these things that you find, by the way, I challenge you. If you find something that starts with H and something that's green and something that's round, see if you can put it all together and create a still life. Maybe it's with crayons, markers, paint. Maybe combine those. Maybe take a selfie of it too. Oh, take a selfie for a uh, composition or mixed media, a collage. So many ideas. Oh, 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 oh. Well, friends, 
This has been a lot of fun exploring the artwork. Go to the DIA friends and check out the website, dia.org. Check out all the cool art by women celebrating this month and all the art. Man, there's just so many possibilities. Create, explore, learn. Friends, it's time for our dance party. I invite you to dance. Phyllis, Morgan, thanks for being with us. Friends at home, thanks for being you. Let's dance as we finish up our show. Freeze. Oh, yeah, freeze. Bingo. Woohoo! Go Morgan, go Morgan, go, go, go Morgan, go Phyllis, go Phyllis, go, go, go Phyllis, go you, go you, go all of you, ooh, 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 Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District Library and Wimmage, with additional support by these great partners. 